shiny, shiny tech digest. I think we're about to get attacked by um, Robopods, which are even more complicated than the Robo Senu. They do more things. It's their What's happened is our customers basically were saying that, okay, we like 68 functions inside the Robus API, you know, 150 inside the yeah. RS2, but build something that basically has more functions than Darth Vader's underpants, and that's okay. exactly what we've done with RoboQuad. RoboQuad has an awful lot of really cool little features and functions that allow him to be able to see okay. and respond, and he really does see, he gets around, and he even does a cute little dance for us, so he RoboQuad can dance for a second. Uh, RoboQuad is fixing. Now again, he speaks no English, okay. right? He gets lots of cute little, you know, Star Wars-like noises. Yep. You wind up having some sort of fantastic motion. He walks on any indoor surface, and he can travel pretty much any direction as well. Which is a bit of a holy grail, isn't it? Working robots. Well, my wife's thinking that that's like that's a big thing, getting robots to travel in different directions. Getting a robot that can sidestep, for example, like forward, backwards, and then also, you know, like in different directions. Oops. Unfortunately, vision is uh, <laughs> trigger against there. There it goes. Yeah. Sideways. Oh yeah, and he also travels at different speeds, you know, so he's quite a clever little guy. Super long battery life, so there's tons and tons of options for play. Right. For those hackers of you out there, yes, the head is large enough to be able to take even a micro camera and a wireless little USB thing on the back there. But clever. you know, I, the well, what quote me. Well, it's it's hackable and trainable, and that's exactly what we put into the item. Excellent. You've got all kinds of little personalities. So, for example, like when he hears something, turn in place. He's pretty fast. Yeah. Turns on his eyes in the dark. Amazing. And he really is quite a fun to play with as so well. So when are we going to see this? This guy is shipping, and he should be uh, sorry shipping in April, so he should be on your shelves by about August. Okay. okay. I have one two, more question. Two more color skews, oh, for example. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So you got beautiful white and black, yeah. right? So it'd be nice. a nice little collection there. Nice. My question is, what did you think of the Honda robot at CES? I didn't get a chance to see it. I wasn't at CES. No, I was I was, I was, I was, I was, I was in, um, I was in uh, Hong Kong flying my plastic. But the thing was, is that the thing is, is that I've always appreciated all the great sort of robots you see out there. Yeah. I mean, Honda is great. Yeah. Yeah. Who's going to pay two thousand dollars for a robot? Um, there is that. What we try to do is, is that here at Huawei, we try to put in the most thought to the smallest job, right? You know, so you basically get a really good thing. You know, if you get something out of the box with our guys, you know, if somebody's going to get entertained. Yeah. We know that two people buy our toys: one dad to themselves, and two dad to their kids, so they can play with it after the kids go to school. Yeah. And shiny, shiny readers also sometimes. Oh, and shiny. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. Take care. Okay.